So behind me, you'll notice three of our six on-campus housing options. You have Loftus Hall, which is home to the majority of our freshmen on campus. It is 10 floors. They are co-ed floors with single-sex suites. You also have Kines Hall and South Hall. So those are what are called twin buildings. They're for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So they're suites of seven and 10. We also have the apartments at East Chester down the road, which are apartment buildings, but they have all the amenities of campus. So you're on the meal card, you have a resident assistant, and campus safety and security does patrols. We also have the new residence hall that's being constructed right on North Avenue. So that'll be home to juniors and seniors. The ground floor will be retail space, most likely a restaurant. And then you'll have six floors of co-ed housing. We also have East Hall, which is in the middle of campus. That's our other freshman building. We'll talk about that a little more when we get to it. And we have Rice Hall, which is our oldest residence hall located at the back of campus. So right now we're in Ryan Library. This is one of our two libraries on campus. The other is called the Aragoni Center. That's more of a technology center, so computer workstations, but also books on computer science and curriculum. But this is Ryan Library. It's what you see when you think of our college library. It's three floors, and we like to say it gets quieter as it goes up. So the first floor is communal workspaces, the second floor is a mix of silent and loud spaces, and the third floor is entirely silent. So we're about to enter one of our silent study rooms. This one is called the Harry Potter room because we think it kind of looks like Hogwarts, but we'll let you decide for yourself. So right now we're at the Castle Cafe. It's one of our four on-campus dining locations. The really awesome thing about the meal card at Iona is that it works pretty much like a debit card with two different accounts on it. You have your on-campus account and your off-campus account. Your on-campus account has about $1,000 a semester, while your off-campus has about $800. And the way it works is you pay for what you buy. So while some schools do meal swipes, like you have 14 swipes a week, here, if you buy a coffee and a banana, you pay the $3 you would pay for a coffee and banana. In terms of off-campus restaurants, it works at about 25 different restaurants all up and down North Avenue. So McSpedden Hall is one of our main administrative buildings on campus. We like to think of that as sort of a paperwork building. You're mostly going in there for things like the Office of Admissions or financial aid. Uh, but the nice thing is anything you can do in there, you can do online. But sometimes it's good to just talk to a real live person. It's also home to the Office of the Provost and the Office of the College President, both of whom keep open office hours for students to just drop in and see them if they have any concerns. Next to that is Cornelia Hall. If you're thinking about majoring in science, that's gonna be your home for the next four years. It's home to all of our science labs on campus. And the really awesome thing with that is there's lots of undergraduate research opportunities for students. So you'll work on a professor's team and you actually have a chance of getting published or presenting at conferences. It's also home to our only lecture hall on campus. It holds about 50 students. So that's really more of a big classroom and I've never even been in it to be honest. Next to that is Dorley Hall. So Dorley is kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to buildings. The top floor is home to our black box theater that's used by the Iona Theater Ensemble as well as the Iona College Players. So that's an opportunity to get involved in theater and everything from building the sets to stage directing to acting in it is done by students. The main floor is home to a bunch of classroom space. So you might have your English or your history or your religion in there. And then the ground floor where that red awning, in, the red awning is, is home to our campus mail services. So it's pretty much like a little mini post office. If you're living on campus, all of your mail will go right to your residence hall. But this is sort of like the central processing hub. And if you need to mail anything out, they have stamps, they have boxes, they have envelopes, and you're good to go. And then right here is a mend hall. You might notice it looks a little bit different than some of the other buildings on campus. That's because when it was originally built, it was actually the gymnasium for the Iona Prep School. Since then, it's been converted into classroom space. On the top floor, we have the college assistance program known as CAP. So that's for students with special learning needs or individual education plans. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'd recommend contacting an admissions counselor for more information about the application process. The ground floor is more classroom space, but on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday afternoon, something really cool happens there. It's the Success Center, which is a free after-school program for New Rochelle students grades K through eight. And it's a chance for you to volunteer, give back to the community, play with the kids. And if you're an education major, you can actually clock observation hours towards certification there. The basement is home to probably the most useful thing on campus, the Samuel Rudin Academic Resource Center, called the Rudin Center for short, and that's free on-campus tutoring. It's a mix of professional staff and students, and it's pretty much your way to get your grade from a C to an A.
Spelman Hall, the top floor, is home to a whole bunch of different academic offices. Everything from the mathematics department to philosophy to religion. It's also home to two really important student services. There's career development, so they'll help you with everything from writing your resume and cover letter to finding the perfect internship to your job search after graduation. And there's also the Counseling Center. We offer our students free on-campus mental health care services. Uh, the number of sessions is unlimited and it's completely confidential. The main floor is home to the Burke Lounge. That's mostly a formal reception space, so when we have on-campus guest speakers, fundraising events, fancier things. And then the ground floor is home to Vitanza Commons, which is our main on-campus dining hall. And we can actually give that a walk through. So East Hall is our newest residence hall on campus. It's a freshman residence hall, so it's three floors of single sex floors, and it's a traditional dorm style. So what that means is there's communal bathrooms on each floor, and then triples and quads. So it goes girls, boys, girls. And then next to that, we have the Lapenta Student Union. Uh, we like to think of that as everybody's favorite building on campus because it's home to absolutely no classrooms. It's an entirely student-centered space. So the top floor is home to a whole bunch of different offices from the Office of Residential Life to Mission and Ministry to Student Development. The main floor is home to our smaller dining hall, the Lapenta Marketplace. So that's mostly quick grab and go if you want a slice of pizza or a burrito. It's also home to the End Zone, which is our multi-purpose space. We have student performers, comedians. Uh, recently, we've had different celebrities from MTV's Guy Code come in and put on shows. And then we also have the bookstore. It is a Barnes & Noble affiliated bookstore, so all of those gift cards that you get for graduation are good to be spent here. Our ground floor is home to a bunch of different things. We have our student office spaces. So the Student Government Association, the Council for Greek Governance, the Gales Activities Board. We also have two 24-hour computer labs, our campus radio station, WICR, a television room, and most recently, a full-service Starbucks, which has been a big hit with our students. So the Heinz Athletic Center is our on-campus gym. The really nice thing about Heinz is that it's split into two. There's a side for the general student population, and then there's a side for our 21 Division I athletics teams. So we'll just do a quick walkthrough. We'll check out the weight room, we'll go through the cardio room, and we'll look down at the intramural gym, and then we'll head over to the athletic side. So our weight room was actually redone just this winter. So everything in there is brand new. So in addition to our weight room, we also have a cardio room. All the equipment in here is replaced on three-year cycles. So everything is pretty much brand new. And then we're about to walk by the view of our intramural gym. So this is used for intramural sports, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights in the fall and spring. They run different competitive sports for the general student population. When it's not being used for intramurals, sometimes they use it for fancy events like job or internship expos. But if the gym's ever empty, you can just go sign out a basketball, a volleyball, a football, and play in there. Lights are off, so you can't really see anything. But Iona is one of the only non-Ivy League schools in the Northeast to have an indoor rowing tank. And our crew team competes at regattas both locally and all across the country, including the head of the Charles in Boston. In addition to our rowing tank, one of the only things that we don't have two of is our Olympic-sized swimming pool. There are open swim hours six days a week from 8 a.m. till noon. The rest of the time it's used by our men and women swimming and diving and our men and women's water polo teams.
This is our main athletic gym on campus. It's where our men and women's basketball teams as well as our women's volleyball team plays. The student fan section is over on that side. Our student fans are called the Maroon Maniacs and they definitely know how to have a good time at the games. Games are free for members, uh, for Iona students and they're $5 for members of the community. So this is Mazella Field. It's our main athletic field on campus. It's home to our men and women's soccer teams as well as our women's lacrosse team and our men's club rugby. Games again are free for both Iona students and members of the community. And then this is the Hagen School of Business. So Iona is an AACSB accredited business school, which is the highest accreditation you can have in North America. And we are ranked in the top 100 business schools in the country. I think that's true. And just this past month, we actually received a $15 million donation, which will triple the size of our business school from alumni Robert LaPenta. Thank you so much for joining us today on our campus tour. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to stop back in the Office of Admissions.